First of all, this video will have explicit spoilers for The End is Nigh multiple points. If you haven't played it, don't watch this unless you don't plan to. Have you ever played The End is Nigh and wondered if there are any weird secrets, lore, or theories? Well, there definitely isn't, so we'll be discussing them. If you don't know what The End is Nigh is, it's an incredibly difficult platformer created by Edmund McMillan, and it's personally one of my favorite games and I'd highly recommend it to everyone. I will be linking in the description as I go play it before watching this video. This iceberg is incredibly large, and there's a specific reason why. It's actually a combination of two separate icebergs for this game, both of them on R, The End is Nigh. One is by you, F. Dipper, and the other is by you, Dualius, and both will be linked in the description. Anyways, let's get into this. Tier 1. Tumors. Tumors are the main collectible in The End is Nigh. One of them was found in each level of the past. In the future, they function as your lives count. When you lose all of them, you have to restart the world you're on. Also, you need 450 of them to access Nevermore, the final area of the game. The End The End is ironically the first area of the game, where you start and also where your game console is, allowing you to play collectible cartridges. The future variant of this world is Anguish, a much harder version. The setting of the area is what appears to be a ruined city. Ash wants a friend The main premise of the game is that Ash, the only sentient creature living after the apocalypse, just broke his last video game cartridge and ventures out of the world to retrieve parts of a dead body to make a friend for himself, to keep himself company. It's, uh, pretty screwed up. You are When Ash's cartridge breaks and the intro cuts into the game, whilst he suffers a mental breakdown, the TV who's playing the cartridge on displays a nice flashing message. You are Past ending. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is referring to what happens when you beat the past, the first half of the game. After you collect the parts of your friend from Golgotha, the Machine, and SS Exodus, Ash puts them together at his house, and after a fun night of something that's never shown, Ash wakes up to discover that his friend is missing and also the world has ended for the second time. Mega Tumors A few Mega Tumors can be found in each world, containing five normal tumors each. Secret Areas In basically every area, you can find at least one or two secret areas in the game, usually containing either a Mega Tumor, a key, or a hidden NPC. Arid Flats The Arid Flats are the second area of the game, taking place in the desert. The future variant of the Arid Flats is Gloob. Cartridges The secondary main collectible of the game, cartridges are found in every major area of the game and can be placed in Ash's video game console. The normal ones, found in each area of the past, are fairly simple 10 level challenges containing collectible rings. They give you rewards if you collect all of them, along with only having 10 lives, with another optional 10 if you choose to use a continue. Acceptance Ending Acceptance is the final area of the main game, clearing it gives you the first normal ending, which depicts Ash being unable to escape a giant nuclear explosion but still going out with a smile. Any Percent Any Percent is a popular speedrunning category in numerous games, including The End is Nigh. It basically means going through a game as fast as possible with no regard to 100%ing the game. Overflow Overflow is the third area of the game, and is water-themed. The future variant is Blight. Bare Minimum The Bare Minimum is the first reward tier in normal cartridges. To get it, you must simply beat the cartridge. The Split The Split is a small interlude area after Overflow that branches out into three separate areas, Wall of Sorrow, Retrograde, and the Hollows. Stephen Futures The Future, not to be confused with the Future, the second half of the game, is a side area consisting of four small room sets, Entered by giving a certain number of tumors to four large black creatures found throughout the past. For the rest of the iceberg, I refer to these features as Stephen Prophecies, and the second half of the game is the future to avoid confusion. At the end of each Stephen Prophecy room is, a set, is an iron cartridge. The creatures that transport you to the Stephen Prophecies are unsurprisingly referred to as Stevens, as a reference to Evan McMillan's earlier game, Time for Cock. In that game, the main character is a black creature known as Stephen. It's honestly a fun puzzle platform, but that I'd recommend. You can get it in the basement collection on Steam, which I'll link in the description. 2017 The game was released on July 12th, 2017. Classical Motifs The entire soundtrack of the game, apart from the credits theme, is composed of remixes of classical songs by the artist Ridiculon. It's a pretty fantastic soundtrack, give it a listen sometime. I'll link it below. Warps In the first room of each area of the game, there's a black pit you can jump into that allows you to teleport to any other area of the game. You can also warp between areas using the map in the menu. You can teleport to individual levels like in Super Meat Boy, however. You can only start at the beginning of each area. Tier 2. Nevermore. Nevermore is the final area of the game and is accessed by entering the giant energy ball at the end of ruin of 450 or more tumors. 
It's an incredibly difficult 15 level gauntlet of some of the hardest levels in the game, it uses the same pal and level elements as the Steven Prophecies. At the end of it is the final cartridge of the game, The End is Nigh, which is the one played by Ash at the start of the game. Nevermore ending. If you jump out of the warp at the end of Nevermore, you unlock the second ending of the game, which depicts Ash talking to himself about a minor inconvenience he experienced before the end of the world. He also seems to have joined the large black mass known as the Mother shown throughout the game. Steven from Time Fakuk is shown walking in the Mother, which according to Edmund symbolizes the passing of time. 50 Rings. If you collect 50 rings in any of the normal cartridges, you get the half empty award. Iron Carts. Iron cartridges can be found in each Stephen Prophecy, requiring a certain amount of tumors to access, and are very difficult 10 level challenges where if you die once, you have to start at the beginning. Discontinued. If you don't use the continue option in any of the normal cartridges, meaning you only have 10 lives, then you get the discontinued award. Glitch cartridges. The third type of cartridge is a glitch cartridge is found in each world of the future. They give you infinite lives, but are incredibly difficult. Hoarder. Hoarder is an achievement that you unlock by getting every collectible in the game. It's very easy. Tower of Ascension. If you collect all four iron cartridges, you unlock a new one called Acceptance, also known as the Tower of Ascension, which I will refer to it as to avoid confusion with Acceptance the area. That combines every level in the original four together, forcing you to beat them without dying once. Plus, there's a bonus for 5th area with 10 extra levels. Sure is fun. 100 rings. If you get every ring in any of the normal cartridges, you get the 100% of nothing award. Unbreakables. Meeting any normal cartridges without dying gets you the Unbreakable award. The friend caused the future to happen. Considering the world only ends twice after Ash builds the friend, it seems like they're probably correlated. Live fast to die. Live Fast dies and that she went and locked by beating the game in less than an hour and a half. Simple. Dead God. Dead God is an achievement unlocked by getting both endings, every collectible, and getting every award and every cartridge. Easy. Spike Tails skip. On level 6 of the Spike Tails cartridge, you can climb the pillars with no spikes and get to the upper left section instead of proceeding right. This allows you to skip most of the cartridge and is quite helpful. Super Mega Card. If you collect all 9 normal cartridges, you unlock this extra one containing all 90 levels of the normal cartridges, plus an extra 10 bonus levels at the end. Along with all the normal rewards and rings you need to collect. Great. Undying. Undying is an achievement unlocked by beating the game whilst dying less than 200 times. Fun. Wall of Sorrow Key Secret. In Wall of Sorrow 7, you can use a key to open a secret passageway, comprised of two rooms with the second one containing a key and a mega tumor. Streaming Mimi. Streaming Mimi is an achievement unlocked if you manage to beat the game Ash is playing in the intro cutscene. Normally, you die, the game would glitch out, and Ash would venture out and search for another copy. But if you manage to beat it without dying, Ash says bye to the camera and shuts off his stream. The credits then play and the game ends. 152%. 152% is the highest completion percentage you can reach in the game, with the extra 52% being from the 52 tumors you can co collect from the cartridges. Connection to Stress and Anxiety To quote Edmund McMillan in an interview with Gama Sutra, There were a lot of subtle elements on my past platformers that I never fully explored because I was worried about alienating the audience. I wanted to make a game that was honestly a bit uncomfortable to play for people who have issues with stress. I wanted to make a game about stress, pressure, and expectation. I feel like I was able to do exactly that in simple and elegant ways I'm quite proud of. In the past, people would say my work felt like a love letter to classic video games. I wanted the end design to walk the line of a suicide note or retirement letter. Its themes really are the abstract tale of the dark side of game development. The lonely, stressful, paranoid dregs of the creative process. In the past three years, I've faced some very difficult personal hardships. Just when it seemed like the end was in sight, something else would come up and drop me even lower than I already was. The end is nice started out as an exploration of this, but as it unfolded, it really became a story about my personal struggle with game development, my obsession with my work, and how it affects my family. To put it in simpler terms, the end I represents the struggles with working on video games, and the stress and anxiety they've caused. 100% of nothing. As mentioned previously, getting every ring in any of the normal cartridges gets you the 100% of nothing award. Two cartridges and one swing. Ghosts and Grieving and Dead Racer are meant to be collected in Ruin and Acceptance respectively, but you can get both of them in the Acceptance Escape sequence if you wish. Half Empty. 
If you collect at least 50 rings in any of the normal cartridges, you get the half-empty one. The Friend of Betrayed Ash Even though it's most likely non-sentient, Ash seems to believe the Friend betrayed him somehow by causing the second apocalypse to happen. Tier 3 Discord Server The Indus 9 does indeed have a Discord server, I'll link it below. Max 52 tumors and nevermore. Since there are 50, 450 tumors in the past and you need 450 tumors to access nevermore, you should be lacking all of them, but since you can get up to 52 tumors in the cartridges, the most lives you can have in nevermore is 52. This is significant because... Oh wait, it's not significant. Hollows 14 Hidey Hole. In the secret area of the Hollows 14, you can find NPC who screeches at you to get out of their hidey hole. Disable Retro Filter. This is a setting that can be toggled on and off in the settings.txt file of the game directory. It controls whether the cartridges have a retro filter on them. Iron God Iron God is an achievement unlocked by beating the game without dying once. Interestingly, it was only added after player Enox proved it was possible. I do definitely appreciate that Edmund waited until it was proven to be possible to add it, as it's by far the hardest achievement of the game. Scab or Die Hatred Scab or Die is a glitch cartridge found in Anguish that's main gimmick is that every room has a left side that's mirrored on the right side, and you need to complete both to advance to the next screen. Apparently, people really hate it, which is understandable, as it's very difficult. SS Exodus cartridge is the only one locked behind Key Door. The cartridge in SS Exodus, Fallen Fantasy, is the only one in the game behind a Key Door requiring one to get it. Settings.txt As mentioned previously, settings.txt is the file found in the game directory containing various settings. 450 plus 52 extra tumors. There are 450 tumors in the past, and you can get 52 extra tumors from the cartridges. Ascenders and Descenders As mentioned previously, you can find many hidden NPCs in the game, and most of them are either black or white. Interestingly, the white ones often refer to themselves as Ascenders, and the black ones as Descenders. I have to mention Ascension and Descension. Safe Strats I'm assuming this is referring to various strategies used in speedruns of the game that are relatively safe, and have a low chance of harming the player with a run. 6 chain all rings can be done without dying. It seems pretty obvious that you can't get every ring in one go at this level, and most people on the internet seem to agree, but Steam user Shadow Spaz managed to get it done in one go. I'll link the thread I found it in the description. Two leftover failsafe keys. Couldn't find anything about it, and don't feel like replaying the game to check, but it seems accurate that the machine has two leftover keys so you can't or get soft locked. Sure would suck if you were unable to 100% the game just because of a key placement error. Disable Screen Shake This is another setting in settings.txt that simply disables the screen shaking during certain events. Ash's Thumbnail In the Nevermore ending, after Ash fused with a mother, you hear him talking to himself about a minor event that happened before the apocalypse. Speedrun Strats Speedrunners of the game do indeed utilize various strategies to get faster times. The Indus 9 mods. On October 24th, 2019, the devs released an update to the game adding official Steam Workshop support, meaning if you own the game on Steam, you can play with the various mods. They're needed, recommend checking them out. Enox. Enox is a semi popular The Indus 9 speedrunner who's most well known for being the first person to beat the full game without dying. I'll link his channel in the description. Wall of Sorrow Ghost NPC. In the secret area of Volsar 9, you can find a ghost. If you talk to them, they tell a very long story about a man who wasted his life. Cancer Theory One of the most popular theories in the fandom on the meaning of the game is that Ash is a cancer cell, and the role of the game is an elderly person's body. This theory has been disproved by the developers, but it's an interesting read and I'll link it below. Iron Pixels Iron Pixels is an achievement unlocked by getting the Unbreakable Award in every cartridge in the game. Unsurprisingly, not many people have it, as Unbreakable is difficult to get even on the easier cartridges, and there are some pretty brutal ones. Ride of the Valkyries A metal version of Ride of the Valkyries, similar to the rest of the game's soundtrack, is present as a bonus track in the album. Kids at the Mall In the tester section of the credits, after all the named people, it says, And some kids at the mall. So I guess they got some kids at the mall to play the game. Light 21 is the split. Since Anguish is the future counterpart to the end, Gleam is the arid flats, and Blight is Overflow, the last level of Blight that serves as a transition to Ruin seems to be a future counterpart to the split. Retro God 
Retro God is an achievement unlocked by gaining every cartridge award in every cartridge, including Unbreakable. The Mother. The Mother is an enemy that appears to be an amorphous black mass that grows whenever you get nearer to killing you. In the Nevermore ending, Ash appears to have joined the Mother. What the Mother is and symbolizes this is never really shown, though there are numerous theories about it. Ash's full name. Ash presumably is the last name, but it's never revealed. The End is an iBot. The End is an iBot was the bot in the End is Nine Discord server, though it is now offline. It's most well known for saying random quotes from the server in response to the And Opinion command. Silicone Ash Toy. She pre ordered a physical copy of The End is Nigh for the Switch, along with the game, and received a swishy silicone ash toy. Sure wish I had one. Tier 4 City of Tethys. The City of Tethys is a mod for The End is Nigh that adds in a full 20 level extra area. It was created by Mixels Pixels and is available in the Steam Workshop. I'll link it below. Mixies. Speaking of, mixed use are a type of jump in the InDesign done by jumping into water and immediately jumping out, which allows you to gain quite a bit of height. According to the description of the City of Tethys, it severely overuses them, which makes it quite a bit more challenging. They can be viewed as fun or frustrating based on your perspective, but I skew more towards the frustrating side. Thanks to just the InDesign, so I should probably expect you to be frustrating. You can collect the N15 tumor from top right cliff. You tend to reach the tumor from the top left cliff, but if you enter the level backwards, you can get it from the top right instead. Cartridge Art Edits User Have Dead made multiple somewhat funny cartridge art edits. Currently showing the only one that won't get me demonetized, but the majority of them contain excessive amounts of square and vulgar humor. And Opinion As mentioned previously, if you say And Opinion at the end of Nybot, it responds with a random message from the server to often hilarious results. The machine secrets are always two in one. This is indeed true. The, uh, all the secrets in the machine are two in one. V on acceptance award. The somewhat subtle V is visible in the orb of the inner room, the sort of acceptance. This is a subtle hint of the fact that you need a certain amount of tumors to enter it. Also that it leads to a Stephen prophecy, as it goes to Nevermore. This is because the Stevens found throughout the game that transferred to Stephen prophecies of Roman numerals and signs next to them, indicating the order you're supposed to play them in. Anniversary won the speedrun category. There's a mod called the Fifth Anniversary that's a massive pack of areas from various creators, which will link in the description. On speedrun.com, there's a category for anniversary, which I assume refers to the Fifth Anniversary. I'm not sure what the one means, though. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Maelstrom. Maelstrom was another mod from Goldeen that contains a new 13 level area called, unsurprisingly, Maelstrom. I'll link it below. Gloom and Nevermore are the only chapters without NPCs. This is fairly self explanatory. Wall of Sorrow Key Seward is the hardest level. This is objectively false as the Tower of Ascension exists, but I will admit it took me longer than I would have liked to get to the Mega Tumor. Anniversary Collapse. As mentioned previously, 5th Anniversary is a mod for the end is nice, unsurprisingly, 5th Anniversary, though that's the only one I could find. Flashback Pack. The Flashback Pack is a large mod from Fossil Bro that has 4 new areas with 45 total levels. I'll link the download in the description. Spike Tales 7, 8, 9, 10. This is referring to something we talked about earlier, which is that you can skip the latter half of Spike Tales, your pillar in Spike Tales 6. Axionic Collapse. Axionic Collapse is a mod by Division that includes 4 new areas, with a bunch of other neat stuff in it as well. Link it below. Ruin NPC dialogues change. Every NPC in Ruin is different dialogue during the acceptance exam sequence, with them all saying something about what's currently going on. Blue Baby Ash. In the game The Binding of Isaac, by the same creator as the end is nigh, there's an item called Ball of Tar that makes most characters look like Gish, another character from Edmund's games. And if you pick it up as a question mark, question mark, question mark, also known as Blue Baby, who is a character from the game, then you look like Ash instead. And imagine the reason he chose question mark, question mark, question mark for that purpose is because he's missing eyes, much like Ash does. Steam Controller Steam Controller was an option in settings.txt that was created by Tyler Glale to fix a bug with a Steam Controller. He must have had a great time fixing that bug if the title was anything to go off of. I would mention what the bug was, but I couldn't find anything about it online. Stephen 5 There are four Stevens in the game that lead to Stephen Prophecy areas. But there's no fifth one. 
Next, this is going to be referring to the acceptance orb, as its own fulfills the purpose of a fifth Stephen. It has a Roman numeral 5 on it, as mentioned previously. Colored Instruction Booklet Along with the silicone ash toy from earlier, pre-ordering the game gets you a full color instruction booklet for the game. I'll describe it further, but I'm not paying $50 to buy it. If you have any more info about it, let me know in the comments. Tier 5 The game does not also almost made Ed McMillan quit game dev. The game, at least according to Edmund, seems to be in an abstract sense about the struggles of game development, but I couldn't find anything about it almost making him give up. Extended Shattered Spectrum Shattered Spectrum is a large mod with 15 areas in a link in the description. There's a planned update called Extended Shattered Spectrum that will double the number of areas. I don't have more than the normal game. I have no idea how they managed to make that many. I haven't played it yet, but it looks like a very well made mod. Dev Console the game does not get into a console you can enable, and setting sub TXT that lets you input various commands use a variety of cheats. Eyes, Anguish, Nevermore, Sad Spike, Boogrin. I actually refuse to read that again, but this is a mod by Division and Half Dead that buffs the iron cartridges. I'll link it below. Also, it seems to be a recurring joke in the Discord server, with them using those emojis in that order. I Isaac appearance. In the Anguish 15 or 6 secret, you can find Isaac from the Binding of Isaac. If you talk to him, he talks about the mother, which I mentioned earlier. This is also a reference to his game of origin, as his mother features heavily in it. The End is Nigh Helper. End is Nigh Helper is a program on GitHub by Shoot Me, great name, that according to its description is a helpful tool to practice in the End is Nigh game. Cool, I'll link it below. Hidden Thistlefish and Overflow. Below Overflow 6, you can find a hidden thistlefish who you're completely unable to interact with. I'm not quite sure why it's there. Hoarder percent death loss. Quarter percent is a speedrun category for getting every item in the game, and a few people have indeed accomplished it without dying once. And by a few people, I mean Enox. I have no idea how he has this much patience for these things. 152% deathless, percent deathless is impossible. It probably isn't impossible, but doing absolutely everything in the game without dying once sounds like a more difficult task than pretty much anyone would be willing to attempt. Future NPCs I'm assuming this is referring to the Stevens, which we covered earlier, the lead to Steven prophecies, also referred to as the future. Sub 30 any percent speedruns. Right now, only three people have gotten any percent speedruns sub under 30 minutes: me, Enox, Mr. Trombosit, and Akarawa. Guppy appearance. Similar to Isaac, you can fight Edmund's cat Guppy, who also appeared in the Binding of Isaac, as a secret NPC in, in a hidden area above Ruin 2. If you talk to them, they make reference to both the Binding of Isaac and Eugenix. A game Edmund is currently making. 1000 Rings Deathless. Beating Super Me Mecha Car with all rings collected without dying sounds like an impossible challenge. But unsurprisingly, Enox has done it. Posting on Discord. The Discord server does indeed enjoy partaking in posting of the. The posts, unfortunately, though, are often pretty. Kidding. Anguish 15 Secret. For some reason, there's a secret area adjacent to Anguish 15 with nothing in other than a few spikes. Weird. Tumor Fly Swarm. When you've collected a tumor on a level, a subtle swarm of flies follows Ash. Ghost Story describes Tower of Ascension. If you remember the previously mentioned ghost NPC in Wall of Sorrow 9, it told a very long story. If you actually read it, it seems to be abstractly describing the process of beating the Tower of Ascension. The purpose of the classical music references. Personally, I think they were just chosen because they sound good, but I guess I could have a deeper meaning. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. It's probably a secret code in March Slav or something. Blight NPC or first and Nevermore. You can find a Steven NPC in the hidden area of a Blight 4 that seems to be, in a very subtle way, talking about Nevermore. Genders don't matter. I have no idea what this means. I guess most characters in the game are ambiguously gendered, so maybe that's it. I guess if I was less living creature in the apocalypse, I wouldn't care much about gender. Edmund McMillan's favorite The End is Nigh track. Couldn't find anything about this online, but according to the creator of the iceberg, it's acceptance, which is very reasonable as the song is amazing. Tier 6 The Friend Did Not Cause the Future to Happen. As I mentioned earlier, the Friend may have caused the second apocalypse, but I guess there's not much more than circumstantial evidence to support that. Anchorfish or Tortured Thistlefish? Anchorfish are a type of enemy in the game that are chained fish. I guess they could be tortured thistlefish, as they look pretty similar. Gender of the Friend. Hell, there's another gender one for some reason. I don't think the friend has ever given the genders, so I have no idea. 
Ash can travel between past and future at will. Never really thought about those, but it's pretty weird that we can just go between them whenever he wants. Huh. Agon spam and mobs. Agons are a type of enemy that are large balloon-like en entities. They use well in the main game, but mods seem to be a bit trigger-happy with placing them. 502 Tumor Steven. I guess this would be a theoretical Steven that requires every Tumor in the game, but it very blatantly doesn't exist. Extended Shattered Spectrum will never release. Trevor's taking a while, so who knows, maybe it will never come out. 152% Deathless is possible. Well, I mean, theoretically, yeah, but I think it might be beyond human skill for now. How Ash Lost His Eye According to Edmund McMillan, Ash lost his right eye due to negligence. Teratoma.wave Apparently Teratoma.wave is an unused audio file in the game, but I couldn't find it. Teratomas are absolutely disgusting, I do not recommend looking them up. Just a little pro tip. Console operates without electricity. As a post-apocalypse seems to be without electricity, I guess Ash's console must be running off of batteries. Ash having the ability to fly. I'm not sure what this is referring to, as there are no segments in the game where Ash can fly. 45 is a minimum Super Mega Kart ring count. I refuse to play through it again to check, but I imagine this just means that at least 45 rings are directly in your path that cannot be avoided. Scrapped Halfway Warps. I assume this means you were originally able to teleport to the middle of areas instead of just the start, but I couldn't find any sources backing this up. Ash falls asleep playing Spike Tales and dying gets a PTSD-induced nightmare from when he played Super Meat Boy. This is a mod by Butter Mario 7 that turns Spike Tales into a retro remake of the Kid Warp Zone for Super Meat Boy. The level in that game is definitely being infamously difficult, so I'm not surprised to Ash's PTSD. I'll link the mod below. Tier 7. Who made the cartridges? It's never explained what company or person made the cartridges in the game, so I have no idea. Probably the Agons or something. Identities of Kids at the Mall. If you remember, the end of the credits thanks some kids at the mall for playtesting the game. I don't have any idea who these kids were or if they even exist. The friend is conscious. Eh, I doubt that. Seems more like it's just a fake person that Ash treats as real. I guess it's possible though. Where's Ash streaming to? Probably Twitch. Ash writes using his black blood. There are a couple of scenes in the game where Ash writes things, and the black is, text is always in black. And from his te death animations, Ash seems to have black blood. Hmm. Ash's pre-apocalypse life. The only real clue we get to this is the Nevermore ending, where he talks about how he screwed up his thumbnail, but nothing else is really said about his life before the apocalypse. Enoch's never got a hoarder percent reward. Enoch's didn't need to a hoarder percent run, but I guess he never got a reward for it. I have no idea what that reward would be. 152 death per or percent deathless is already done. No. Inaccessible future splits. Since Blight 21 is the future variant of the split, it's sort of weird that it only leads down to Ruid, not right or up as well. Like, in the past split. The 503rd tumor. Doesn't exist. Blightware. This might be a stretch, but there are quite a few turrets present in Blight, and no one knows where they came from or who built them. So maybe they came from a company called Blightware. Scrapped Mega Glitch Cartridge. Doesn't seem like there was, as I can't find a source, but it's possible the devs originally wanted to implement the equivalent of Super Mega Kart with the Tower of Ascension for the Glitch Cartridges. Whaler Screams. Wave. Along with Teratoma.wave, I can't find anything about it. Maybe an unused sound? Lost quarter percent and 152 percent deathless achievement icons. These don't exist, thankfully. Tier 8. Anguish 15 Secrets True Purpose. I have no idea what it is. Some people have speculated it's part of SS Exodus, but no one really knows. Retro filter causes aneurysms. It doesn't, but it sure feels like it. How the intro cartridge got to Nevermore. I have absolutely no idea. 152 dip percent deathless reward. There is none. True meaning of ice anguish nevermore sad spike boo grin. I have no clue. Always something to do with the New World Order. Ash is insane. Yeah, most definitely. There's basically no questioning about it. Ash is being watched. Is he? Maybe. Perhaps the mother is spying on him. Or maybe, just maybe, we're the ones watching him. Hmm. The father. Since the mother exists, does the father exist too? Probably not. Heaven? 
Heaven is an area in axonic collapse. I'm not sure what the question mark in quotes mean. The end is nigh, but is sentient. Without good a lot of its responses are, maybe it is. We're all doomed. I guess you could say. The end is nigh. Washington Agon incident. That didn't happen. Definitely. Don't research it. Please. The CIA will hunt you down. Friends666.mp4. I don't think this exists. There's a lot of things in this bottom layer, it's just made up to sound spooky. Agons or Contras? Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. There's not really a specific way to know. 100 rings and glitch cartridges. No, there aren't. There are no rings in any glitch cartridges. Player who completed 152% devils was killed by the government. I actually researched this and found out. <laughs> Can't believe they used that rock like that. And that was the end of this nice, iceberg. I'd like to thank the members of the Discord server for help helping me extensively with research for this. And as well, I would like to thank you for watching. Bye.